You know, one of the most important jobs we have to do as EMS providers is to deliver good, high quality CPR. And hopefully we can get a return of spontaneous circulation in them patients we're trying to help. But with good, high quality CPR, we need to get blood back to the brain, the heart and the lungs. But would it surprise you if I told you that only 25% of the normal blood flow actually gets back to those vital organs with good, high quality CPR? Well, today's product is going to address that. I'm Chris Subalero, and this is the Innovation Zone. If you're like me, you were really surprised to hear that only 25% of normal blood flow actually gets back to the heart and lungs. And I'm going to explain to you why that happens. So I want you to think about as we breathe normally, we kind of create our own vacuum within our thorax. We kind of breathe, we take a breath, we exhale, and we wait a minute before we take another breath. Now let's go ahead and put that into perspective when it comes to high performance CPR. So as we go ahead and press down on the chest, we're moving the air out of the lungs and hopefully getting the blood to circulate around the body. But what happens now, as we allow the chest to recoil, we allow air to rush back in the lungs. And what this does is, is it keeps us from creating that vacuum that will allow the heart to fill. Well, today's product comes to us from Advanced Circulatory, and it's the Rescue Pod. It's an impedance threshold device. Now, the way that the Rescue Pod works is, again, as we're doing CPR and we allow the chest to recoil, air now rushes into the lungs. And we've got to stop that. And that's where the Rescue Pod comes in, is that it doesn't allow that ambient air to rush into the lungs. Now, the great thing about the Rescue Pod is it doubles the amount of blood that's going to the heart, it increases blood flow to the brain by 50% and doubles the systolic blood pressure. Studies have shown that it increases survival in neurologically intact patients by 25% or more. And when we think about return to spontaneous circulation, that's really what we're striving for is neurologically intact patients. Another great thing about the Rescue Pod is it can be used on any airway device or whether you're using mechanical or manual CPR. Now I want you to think about it. You get on scene, you check for a pulse, no pulse. We need to go ahead and start that high quality CPR. And one of the things you want to do is you want, probably want to put that rescue pod right on as soon as you need it. And this way it's going to be there as you go through those steps of delivering that high performance CPR. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rescue pod. This is a single use device. It's latex free. And one of the great things about it that I love is it comes with these indicator lights. Once you go ahead and turn it on, it'll blink one time every 10 seconds. If you're on the airway end, once you see it blink, you want to deliver a breath over one second. If you're on the CPR side, you want to go ahead and do 10 chest compressions in between indicator blinks. Now for devices like the rescue pod to be successful, it's really important that we do high quality CPR. And what does that mean exactly? Well, we need to ensure that we're doing 100 chest compressions per minute. We need to ensure that we're going down the full two inches. What's really important is we need to allow the chest to fully recoil. If you're on the chest compression side, you know that you have to be switching out every two minutes. Even if you're in great shape and you think you can go longer, a lot of times as we get tired, we tend to rest on the chest and we don't allow it to fully recoil. The Rescue Pod. It doubles blood flow to the heart. It increases blood flow to the brain by 50% and doubles the systolic blood pressure. And don't forget those studies that say that it increases neurologically intact survival by 25% or more. But remember, it's not just a rescue pod. We need to continue to do that high quality CPR. I'm Chris Subalero, and thank you for joining us on the Innovation Zone.